Morning YouTube. Happy Cobb Tuesday. And today, I brought a pipe I haven't had out in a while, and that is the somebody called and dubbed it the Dark Queen. It's just a Mark, Missouri Meerschaum Mark Twain with a corn cob shank I made and attached and replaced and added uh, one of the Danish bits since then from uh, Rista Cob. And inside I got some Yuli's uh, Big Dipper cooking up, which I'm not sure how I feel about yet. It's kind of an interesting blend. Um. So what's doing? Uh, a couple things about uh, the video with me making the church warden. Um, which was mostly done on the drill press with sanding drums. Uh, the sanding drums I used were one inch, three quarter inch and half inch. So I think if you're going to go that route on a kit, which works really well to shape it out, um, if you do have access to a drill press, um, I would suggest to start out with a inch and a half or maybe a two inch uh, sanding drum. And the reason for that is... Um, if you got a one inch drum, sanding drum, you're gonna, in the middle there's a bolt where it holds on the sandpaper that helps the tension to keep it on the drum, it kind of squeezes it. And that bolt will kind of hit, and you'll get to the middle of it. And I think if, and there's ways around it, you kind of gotta work around it, but I think if you had a, like a two inch sanding drum, you wouldn't be such an issue when you're shaping it out. Um, the three quarter inch one, it's very handy for getting kind of on the bottom and around here, but I would say the the one you're probably going to want to use, if you just use two of them, would be the half inch one and uh, probably like a two inch sand drum. That, that uh, half inch one really gets in to get around the stem, which is kind of the tricky spot kind of in here. So. That one was probably the one you're going to use quite a bit. So I would suggest if you, if you have two, I would say get, get a two-inch drum um, and a half-inch. So I like it. You are going to have to use files like I did in the video. There's really uh, there's no good way around that. Um, not that that's bad. It's not bad. But um, given between the two, though, obviously it goes a lot faster if you shape it out with the, the sanding drum versus if you're just using just files. Which, if all you have is files and you want to shape one out, I probably would suggest maybe the church warden because it's a little bit smaller. It won't take you as long. Depends how impatient of a person you are, really. Um, got a couple ideas for some stuff in the future. I might uh, work on some tampers along with maybe some other pipes. Moving forward here. Um, other than that, not a whole lot going. But, uh, hope you did enjoy the video on the Mr. Brog kits. Um, like I said, good way to start. Can't go wrong, in my opinion. The value's there. Um, and it really will help out you guys that, uh, like I said, the first one I did, I did mostly with files. I did a little shaping, but then mostly files, just to make it fair, to see how bad it would be. I shouldn't say bad, but how long it would take if, and how hard it would be, um, but it's not that bad. Um, and then, like I said, church warden was mostly drill press with sanding drums. But they gave me a couple ideas moving forward. So, and I might test that theory this weekend. So, so I'm thinking, I'm, made me wonder if you can make a pipe just using a drill press, start to finish. Not from a kit, like the the briar blocks I had weren't weren't from kits. Then I had to use a lathe for part of them. But I wonder if you can do the whole thing on there. I'm not saying it's a good idea. Just has me curious. <laughs> All right, guys, happy Cobb Tuesday. 
I'll be good to one another and play nice.